The newest summer blockbuster, Twisters, is now finally in theaters, so here are my thoughts on it. Hello everybody, my name is Jesse, and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Uh, the newest summer blockbuster of this year, Twisters, the sequel to the original Twister, came out just a few days ago, and I was able to check it out last night. So, I'm just going to give you my uh, thoughts on this movie. I'm going to try not to go into spoilers too much, but... If I have to, I'll let you know. Uh, let's just get into it. Uh, starting off, um, I have not seen the original Twister. I plan on watching that and then going to see this movie again. But going into it the first time, I had not seen the first one. And it didn't really, it didn't take anything away from me. So if you haven't seen the first Twister, you don't need to watch it before seeing this one. It's a completely standalone story. It's its own movie um and i i really enjoyed this movie i i thought it was just i got exactly what i wanted out of it um it was one of my most anticipated movies of the year the trailers all sold me it looked like it was going to have a lot of great action and it did this was a just if you're looking for just a fun time at the movies this summer and you love action movies this is a great movie for you. Uh, it's got all of the action that you expect from something like this, people chasing these massive tornadoes and getting, trying not to get sucked into them. They're, they're <clears throat> chasing them for science and for just to capture them on film. And there's a lot, of, you, it can show that these characters can have fun with chasing these storms and th this is what they love doing this for science and Glenn Powell's team they're youtubers and they do live streams of every tornado that they chase but it can also show how these tornadoes and these situations can turn very dangerous very fast and I love they especially did that in the opening scene um, our lead character, she is with her team out in just the middle of nowhere, pretty much out in uh, Oklahoma, and they're chasing a storm. And they, the, the, our lead character has this theory of trying to tame a tornado, in uh, in her words, by using some science stuff that I'm not smart enough to understand, and they uh, they get out there and they're trying to set up a machine and it doesn't work. And the tornado very quickly becomes much larger than they anticipated it being. And so it, it just very, very quickly went from one to a hundred and they had to get out of there. So I really liked how they showed that while these people do have fun with these tornadoes sometimes, they're still very dangerous and they can do a lot of damage, sometimes lasting damage. All of the characters are great in this film. Daisy Edgar Jones does a great job as the lead. Kate and Glenn Powell, of course, totally steals the show. He's just a crazy, wild kind of YouTuber with that just country boy personality, always wearing cowboy hats. He used to compete in rodeos. And he just does it for the thrill, for because he's afraid of it. That's why he does it. And he just goes head in, and instead of avoiding them, he literally goes directly into the tornado. He's kind of reckless, and he's not particularly nice to the main characters at the beginning. And then by the end, you, you of course, come to love him. Um, Glenn Powell just does a really great job. Also on his team, I think Boone was another standout character for me. He had a lot of great moments. I think the, the, my one big flaw with this film, and I don't know if this is a spoiler or not, but in case you just don't want to hear anything else, in case you don't want to, if you want to experience the movie for yourself, maybe don't watch this part. But I think the movie was slightly misled in the trailers because the trailers and even the title itself, Twisters, 
implied that the overall threat, the actual threat, was going to be massive tornadoes. And in the movie, they emphasized them chasing towards two different tornadoes, a massive tornado that split into two. And they make you sort of think going into it that that's going to be the big thing. There's two tornadoes at once that they have to fight off. And it's not that. that is, that's a part of it. They do see that in the film, but it's really only there for a couple of minutes. They see it, they stop it, and then at the end, the overall just big threat is just one massive tornado. So I think it was, it's sort of misled our expectations in that way a little bit, but I, it still didn't really take away from the film for me at all. I still had a total blast with it. I still loved the ending. There's a lot of sequences in this film where you're on the edge of your seat, grasping the arms of your chair, super tensed up. And that's, I mean, like I said at the beginning, I got exactly what I wanted out of this film. I went in for a fun, action-packed film, and that's exactly what this is. One last thing that I'll say is I'm really impressed with what the director of this film, Lee Isaac Chung, was able to pull off. His, one of his first movies uh, was a film called Minari. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. It's fantastic. It's an A24 film, and it's very simple, very grounded, about a Korean family immigrating into America, and they start a farm, and it's just about them trying to learn American culture and American ways, trying to fit in in America after living in Korea all their lives. And it's very simple cinematography, a very simple story, no like showing off, simple score. And then you come to this movie and it's the complete opposite. Massive scale, big budget, action packed. And it, it, it's, I just thought it was really impressive the things he was able to pull off in this film. The action sequences are really solid. The special effects look awesome. You can hardly even tell that it's special effects that sometimes it looks totally real. And it just adds to the fear in this film and it kind of just adds to the vibe that this movie is trying to pull off really well. So overall, I really dug Twisters. It was a fun action packed time at the movies. If you've seen it, what do you think of it? And if you haven't, would you see it? Let me know down in the comments below. And uh, that is it for this review. Please subscribe to my channel uh, for more content like this, reviews, rankings, all of it. I'm trying to get to 300 subscribers for the end of the year. So if you can help me get there, that would mean a lot. And until my next video, like this one, subscribe to my channel, and keep watching movies. Bye-bye.